Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. Today we're looking at creating and using shortcut keys in Procreate. Before we start, let me tell you where you can find additional Procreate training. I have courses at Skillshare and there's a coupon in the description below which includes an offer at least as good as the current Skillshare offer and generally mine's better. If you sign up for Skillshare, you get access to thousands of classes there, including over 200 of mine covering Photoshop, Illustrator and of course Procreate. Now we're back here in Procreate and I want to show you how you can create and use keyboard shortcuts in Procreate. Now the first of these sets of shortcuts is this set. When I tap the square box over here on the left, this is what appears and these are shortcuts to cut, copying and pasting etc. Now I also have an additional set of shortcuts and these appear when I press the box and tap once on the workspace and these are customizable. I can add my own features here. So let's see how I've got this set up. So I'm going to the spanner icon and I'm going to prefs and I'm going into gesture controls. Now the first set is this copy and paste set and I've got tap and box selected as the keyboard shortcut that I want to use to get those copy and paste options. So just tapping that little box is all I need to do to get these to appear. But you can see here that you could set up any of your own preference for keyboard shortcuts that would then bring up this full set of copy and paste options. So one simple press gives me access to six individual options. Now the other set of options is the quick menu options and here I've got the box and touch. So I hold down the box with one finger and then just tap on the screen to get that menu. But of course there are lots of other options here that we could use as the trigger for that quick menu to appear. Here there are all sorts of other options as well. So you can set the options for selecting layers or going full screen or erasing for example. So there are lots of gestures here that you can configure in Procreate. But now that we've got our quick menu appearing, let's go and make it appear because these items here are customizable. So you can see over here that I've got my HB Monoline brush set up here. So what you can do is add a brush here. So if there's a brush that you use a lot, then this is a quick and easy way to get access to it. Now, if I want to change one of these, what I would do is just press and hold on it. And then I get this set action menu. And you can see that there are lots of things that we can choose from. Now if we choose select brush, you'll see that you can navigate through your brush sets. So for example, you could go to your inking brushes and select a particular brush that you wanted to be able to quickly and easily access. So I've done dry ink. So let's see this. I'm going to tap to get my mono line brush and then I'm going to bring back my menu and this time I'm going to choose my dry ink brush. So I can instantly change between brushes using this option. Just be aware that if you're going to use the box and touch, it's going to be important that you touch where you want the menu to appear. If you go too close to the edge of the screen, then the menu is going to appear on the edge of the screen. It can be a little bit confusing, but just touch where you want it to appear. And so all six of these options can be customized, putting a whole heap of shortcut keys, including those for changing brushes within a couple of taps of your Procreate screen. This video has been very quick. I hope that it's helped you understand the kind of things that you can do to automate your processes in Procreate. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up, click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you'll be alerted when new videos are released. And please, Procreate users, fill that comment section with comments. You're very, very quiet and I'd really love to hear from you as to what you're thinking about these Procreate videos. Until next time, I'm Helen Bradley. Thank you so much for joining me here on my YouTube channel.